So that is going to show you a couple of tips and tricks on replacing the wheel hub assembly. Now these hub assemblies are a very common thing that can go on most vehicles. Uh, you'll find the same sort of setup on your Ford Territories, uh, your Holden Commodores and also the rear of your Hyundai Excels and most front wheel drive cars. Now to do this job you'll need a couple of tools, a rattle gun, a decent tension wrench, um, a chisel and a hammer. Now to do the, the rear of these cars you need to remove the dust cover off the front. Now to do this, just a hammer and chisel and work your way around until you expose the nut. To remove the nut you will need a decent rattle gun and for this XL is a 32mm socket. And off the nut comes. Now when removing the old bearing, they shouldn't be too hard to pull off, you need to pull them off nice and square. Reuse the washer that's on the old assembly. Now once you remove the old assembly, you want to just have a look at the shaft that it bolts onto. Make sure there's no pitting or damage to that shaft in any sort of way. You always need to follow manufacturer specifications and when doing this job. Now when installing the new hub, you need to make sure it is nice and square. You don't want to use a hammer or anything to force this bearing and hub assembly on. So it's nice and square, 90 degrees to the stub, and slide it off. We're refitting the old washer and the old nut. You'll find in sub hub assemblies that the nut is a one time use only. If this is the case, a nut will be supplied in the kit. So when doing the nut up, you reuse your rattle gun, you want to have it on a low setting to start with, and just till it's tight. Then you want to grab your tension wrench, find out the manufacturer's specification on the tension, the right setting for the hub. And tighten until you hear your click. Check to make sure it rotates nice and freely. Easy as that. All these parts are available at onlineautoparts.com.au.